like when when the news came out we're getting Rabio, I'm not gonna lie. At first I was like, you know what, underwhelming. But but the more you look at it, you just got to you got to realize that the manager wants him in it, and the manager's insisting on him, and that's what we have got to go, man. We've had the past up before. Mm. Manager not wanting players, and the next thing you know, it doesn't fit into what we do, and then we've got another player that's just wasted mm. in it and just rots on the bench. Now we've got a, ma- a manager who wants him in it, so it's on him in it. So at the end of the day. He's, he's got a manager that wants him. He's 27 years old. He's coming into that age where he needs to refine his game. He needs to start putting in more consistent performances. Mm-hmm. Like, it could end up being, yeah, him playing for a manager in a system mm-hmm. that brings out a different side of his game, bro. Yeah, Easily. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because the thing is, he's got the fundamentals of the game. Like, he can receive the ball. He can pass. He can carry the ball. He's got the fundamentals. Yeah, of course. So... He's not a bad so, player. Like people, are, people are looking at him and thinking, yeah, he's a media player and whatnot, like I said. Bro, I mean, like, what I mean, makes Rabiot bad is not is not his fundamentals. If anything, it's probably his attitude, maybe his concentration yeah, and stuff like that. But, bro, you get the right manager, maybe these things are not a factor, bro. Mm. Yeah. Someone that you can maybe I mean? look at him and, and judge him in that way. And also, I finally mm. someone that might be able to believe in him and say, yo, listen... This is a new start of your career now. You know what I mean? I'm going to believe yeah. in you. You deliver for me and we can go in, in it. So that's that's going to be the main issue. And it's also a different league, in it? So, you know what I mean? It's a different mm. way of playing as well. Like, you might adapt to it. You never know. So that's why I'm a bit, like, more looking at it in terms of optimistic-wise. I'm more looking at it in that way now. You know, before, like, like I said to you, I was a bit unsure, but... I think the manager, mm. if the manager is insistent on a player and he wants him, and it's a color, he wants him, and the, and the, he's told the club go and get him. Then that's what that's mm. what it's gonna go in it. We have to trust him. That's the main yeah. thing. Bro. We've got to trust that's him. That's it. We're not. We're not. I think now more than ever, we've got a stick, and it's gonna be a long term plan. We were talking about yesterday, man. This is not overnight success. This this club, you know, this football yeah. club, and where we're going, man. It's not, man. We've got players from previous managers. We've got he's got to change the whole structure, he's got to change the whole style of play. It's got to be a new mm-hmm. culture at Man United, a new identity. You know what I mean? We don't like to say that word, but he's got to bring his own identity. And it's gonna take time, man. You know what I mean? We might go, we might lose against Bradford, but you you know what I mean. Like I said, things are gonna happen slowly and slowly, and then mm. we'll maybe kick in later on because we've we've been here and, and the club decided against Ragnick, they said, you know what, we're gonna get a manager in. We're not going to get a director of football who has experience. And now they're going through this route. So we have to stick by yeah. it, bro. The players, yeah. you see them, they're evidently not good enough. So it's going to take time for them to get to, 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 to phase them out. And he will phase them out. Don't Honestly, man, you yeah. guys are underestimating Tenag. He will phase them out, man. I'm telling you now. Because he won't, he, won't, he won't deal with that shit for longer, man. Like, sure. You yeah. know, Tomine, Rashford. Nah, man, I'm sorry, man. He just knows they're not good enough. He knows deep down. He knows they're not good enough. But he has to buy his he knows. time. He has to buy his time. Yeah, hundred percent. So, bro, like, man can't just be like, yo, like, yeah, I back the manager, but then the manager wants the player, and man are going crazy. Like, cool. It doesn't make no sense. Yeah, it doesn't exactly. doesn't make no sense, bro. Like, man, just have to wait and see, in it, and that's yeah. all I'm doing. Man is saying that Rabio doesn't play progressive passes and is sideways and that. But, bro, different manager, different system. Different system, yeah. That's the key thing as different well. Different system. If the manager... Bro, we have a coach. If the coach is saying, I'm bringing you in and I want you to do this, then he'll do it, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if fucking players like Klopp here yeah, can get a tune out of fucking Jordan Henderson, I don't know why you think, yeah... That um that Ten Hag can't get a tune out of someone like Rabio who is better fundamentally and has more talent, bro. Like at the end of the day, you just need a manager that's gonna get something out of a player. It's all about just doing a job. Like that is what it is playing in a system. It's about doing a job. Mm. That's what it's about. It's it's never been more, it's never been you about more than that, bro. It's literally all here. It's all mental, bro. Like you can get a player and a manager can just unlock something in them, bro, just get something out of them. Mm. Very but much, no very is. much so. Mm. I feel like because people haven't seen what a system is like, that's why they can't really, like, you know, comprehend Rabi. Bro, this is a fact, game. though. If we had won against Brighton, these people wouldn't have been fucking on this bullshit. Yeah, and now they're talking about our oh, progressive passes and bringing up stats from a player in another team and that. What kind of nonsense is yeah, that, yeah, bro? True, progressive true. passes and stuff. Fuck off, man. Do you know what I mean? What does that even mean? 
depending on what system you're playing in and what team you're playing in and what formation, bro. Like maybe his job wasn't passing forward, bro. That wasn't his job. Yeah, like, exactly. Why man talk- different like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Exactly, bro. If these bro. men are fucking dumb, bro, like it doesn't make sense. Like, it's just under Ralph. Ralph was banning sideways passes. He wanted every uh, banning back passes. He wanted everything forward. Ten Hag wants everything forward. So because of that, any player that plays for Man United that's spoken to the manager knows you have to pass forward. Mm. You have to. I so with that being the case, yeah, like it's fine. And even the progressive um, passing thing doesn't make no sense either. Mm. It doesn't make no sense, bro. Do you know what I mean? Because there can be guys here yeah, that play the ball forward a lot and lose the ball a lot. Like, so when man saying our progressive passes, what's the point? Bruno's probably one of the most progressive passes in football, bro. Uh, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think so, would you? It's crazy, we just man. Ball away. He passes forward almost every time, mm. and he passes to the other team almost every time. You know what so, it is? I, I think his position as well in the team. I don't know what he brings, man. I'll be honest with you. Like, I, I think Eric's is the most key player in this game. We need to build around Ericsson. And it's crazy to think a 30-year-old, you build around him. But right now in this team, man, Eric's is the one that's making us click, man. But in terms of mm. what you're saying about um, forward passes and whatnot, like, for me, it's just mm. it's the players, isn't it? The players let, let Ten Hag down massively, man. Because Ten Hag has mm. a plan, in it? Ten Hag has a philosophy. He knows what they're playing, in it? And the players, when they get on that pitch, bro, they can't handle it, man. They can't. They're just mm. not it. And that's why Ten Hag is going to get rid of them because he knows these men ain't ready to do what I want to do in it. And then I'm going to be making look like a fool. Nah, nah, it's not going to happen to me. Mm. It's not going to happen to me. So the sooner these players are gone, the sooner the better, man. I'm telling you now, mm. man. But in that meantime, Ten Hag will still be plugging his style and then you'll start to see and pick out. You're already starting to see and pick out who the ones that are failing right now. McTominay, yeah. and Mandare, Rashford. You know what I mean? You're seeing it already, sure. You're seeing the players already, and then sooner or later they'll be out of the team, and he'll just phase in a new group of players. So yeah. you just gotta be very, very patient, man. You know what I mean? And and you'll see the style of play. Like we see it in preseason. I get when they came here, Brighton, but Brighton, you gotta remember Brighton in terms of their level of football are way ahead of us, man. We're still yeah. learning the system. First game, we'll find out in it. Like I said, Arsenal, we were talking about yesterday, Arsenal lost the first three games and then. How long were they away from, from top four? So, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, not four. Like, you get me? Like, it can be done, man. It's just, you just got to be patient, man. You really have. You know what I'm saying? Man said we should just come back in 18, 24 months. No, it's not even that. But you know what it is, yeah? We have one no, game no, into no. the season and everyone fucking crying is a joke. Mm. But that's what no, the one game of the season does, isn't it? That's, that's, the, that's the kind of the crazy thing about the first game of the season, like... Everything, every, everyone thinks that everything's won and lost in that first game, mm. but then you just need that second game to get over it. Obviously, Brentford's going to be the game on Saturday, mm-hmm. you know. What I mean? And then we win all of a sudden, it, it changes the complexion of things in it. So, I think it's just getting that first start. And obviously, you get me, McTominay. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. If that name is on that team sheet, can't lie, I'm not gonna be mm. too happy, man. I want, I, I just want to see him out. I want to see uh, McT- get McTominay first start because he doesn't do anything. The thing was with Freddie, yeah, I yeah. get it. Like technically, he's not great on the ball, but I think with someone else, he can be a little bit better. First of all, just take McTominay out of the situation. I want to see someone yeah. that doesn't make less passes than De Gea. You get me? Like I don't want to see yeah. that. If you're making less passes than De Gea, then for me, that's a warning sign, isn't it? So get him yeah. out of the team, yeah, and build someone else in, and then we'll go from there. Because I'm not looking to see McT- that's it, bro. It pains me, man. And everyone can see it clearly. Nobody can call it an agenda. What everybody knows, McTominay is the weak link. Yeah, that field. everybody knows. No, for sure, for sure, for sure, bro. But oh no, it's just one of them things, isn't it? We Maybe just Eric's have to see. Six I don't know, man. Eric's in that six row look look good. Man. I don't know if he could do. He it did, but again. Ericsson looks good in the six row, but only because we have no one else. And Ericsson also looked good there between because um we were chasing the right. game. We were chasing the game, Fred bro. There, would it would it would you reckon it could work if you have Fred there, you know, kind of like making sure everything's screwed yeah, doing the running. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, amazing. but of course, but for me, I just bro, like play. that. You know what it is, yeah. The role of connector that he likes. The funny thing is. 
The manager don't trust McTominay to do it. He's been using Fred there, but he must know, know deep down that's not Fred's position. Fred's like he must know that because we saw. Yeah, we saw Fred was our best player under Ralph. Do you know what I mean? And even in pre-season as well, Fred was playing well, but it's a different level of pressure, a different level of oppos- opposition, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm. Fred shouldn't be the connector. Our main Fred problem with a lot of people's main problem with Fred, yeah, anyway, was his press resistance from 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 years ago. Bro, that's, that's do you know what I mean? Like, thing, that man. so we know that Fred's not press resistant. I believe that he had Fred Day yeah, just as a stopgap. But he was never trying to go into the season with Fred in that position. No. I think ultimately Fred will be a squad player if, when we get the right midfield. But like I said, mm. him and the six, because McTominay isn't a six. Donny, you know what I mean? He doesn't see him as a six. He sees him mm-hmm. more further forward. Because when he came in against Brighton, he was playing further forward and Ericsson was dropping deeper. So at this mm-hmm. minute now, you know what I mean? It's a difficult one, man. But then again, Rabio can be that connector. But then, he likes to go box to box, so then he might be the one that goes forward more than than a, than a Fred. So that's why mm. De Jong is so key for this team, man. He could just sit there, dictate. Yeah, but he was always meant to be the collector, you know, and the oh, connector. Man. It was always meant to be him, bro. That's why we need him badly, man. Honestly, man. Mm. Because when I see like David Agea trying to hoof it up and whatnot, and then the the two midfielders are not really kind of keen on collecting the ball. From that mm. area, then you got the two center backs again. Martinez played well, but Maguire's still hesitant in it. Yeah, so you just need that person that David again just, just needs to know that you just pass it in that person there. Simple five yard pass, and then go from there. None of this switching, duh, 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 just simply pass it that five yard pass. Surely you can't get that wrong. Surely, yeah, bro. They just want him to do, they just want Rabio to do the Nemanja Matic thing, bro. That's probably what he wants to do. Obviously, he likes to carry the ball. Like he's good at like progressive carries and that on the ball, so it's just maybe that's what he wants from him. Do you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, Juventus let Kulusevski go to Tottenham on a two-year loan bro. deal, bro. A two-year yeah. loan deal with an option, yeah, with an option to sign him for thirty-five million at the end of that two-year loan deal. And he wasn't pulling so, trees as well, you know. He wasn't pulling. Now he wasn't doing either. nothing at Juventus, bro, to make anyone think, yeah, bro. You don't loan a player out for two seasons if you rate him. Do you know what I mean? Like, you don't. You don't. So, and they clearly fucked up. They fucked it up. Mm. Because Kulusevski's worth more than 35 million, bro. Based on how he's playing for Tottenham, yeah, they could be asking for 70, 80 million. Cost, bro. Yeah. But to cost, it's bro. an obligation to buy, like, 35. Either way, 35 million, bro. That's like, calm, he's worth bro. 80 million now. Now, yeah. just from what he's shown last season, he's worth 80 million. But the so, most assist this season, most assist this year in the calendar year. Well, there you go. A man is saying he flopped at Juve, but he's not flopping now. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And that's the point. Like, judging one player of what he done, like, at another club, like, doesn't make no sense, bro. Like, it doesn't make sense. Football's not like that. I said it on the show yeah. with Baines. One plus one doesn't equal two in football. Yeah, that's the craziest thing about him, man. But it doesn't. Like, Lukaku was literally playing at Inter, scored, what, 18 goals at Inter, then came to Chelsea and struggled with better players around him. Mm. Struggle with better players around him. Do you mm. know what I mean? A man saying, yeah, he was 20, uh, Rabiot's 27. Yeah, but Rabiot at 27 is even more reason, yeah? Mm. He's more, more reason to think, you know, more it's more reason to think, you know what, he's older now. Do you know what I'm saying? He's older now. He could be coming into his prime now. This could be the time where he starts to calm down a bit and behave himself. Yeah, yeah. Because a, a lot of players, when they're younger, their temperament's not good. And as they get older, it improves. So you don't really know, bro. Like, there's so well, many Tadic, different ways that you could look at football. Tadic, when you look at Pardon? him. Pardon? Tadic, Tadic peaks well, late, bro. He, he matured late, yeah. late because, bro, like, man's at Ajax and that now. But when Tadic was playing in England, man, we're not rating him. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Bruv, yeah, yeah. Bruv, when he was playing at Southampton, man weren't like, oh, my God, Tadic, Tadic. And then all of a sudden, he's playing in the oh, Champions a League. A man, are, a man are rating him now. Bro, this is just what happens in football. Yeah, bruv, these yeah. men were not talking about fucking um Tadic, bro, when he was playing for Southampton. How many of these men were saying, Oh, man, United should sign Tadic, Tadic, bro, when he's at when he was at Southampton? Yeah, in fact, zero, yeah, yeah. you know, like that. And, and this is and this is what well, it is, bro. He went up a level, the main thing is he went up a level at Ajax. Nah, Tadic was quality even at Southampton, he was quality, That's what I'm saying, but, but he went a lot of men, 
Yeah, no, for sure. Because he was playing under a better manager. That's what I'm saying. Do you know what I mean? So he went from just being a good footballer to a man actually rating him highly, bro. Yeah, 